Okay, hello, this is Sam Pollock. This is my assignment submission for exercise three for a uh, Unity development class. Um, so let's take a look at the program. So as I outlined in the exercises, this is exercise three. Um, I was instructed to create a start scene for the game with a start and a quit button. Um, so I've got my quit button, which we'll uh, call application dot quit and quit the program when it's you know when it's a real build. And then start button, and that's so grid goes red. Click it goes dark red, and loads into the game. And we have the game as shown before. The protagonist, monkey guy, running around, and then at the bottom of the screen. Got tall grass. And when we enter the tall grass, it has a chance of triggering a, um, a random battle. And then right now, you can quit the random battle and go back. Okay, and as for how it actually works, um, first off, the main scene, it's just a simple matter of building a scene manager game object with scene manager script has load scene based on screen uh, scene index and application quit and my buttons call that game object in that script then in the uh, game scene i've added to this tall grass tile got a random encounter trigger encompasses that in the random encounter trigger when the player enters it actually that junk player enters it it sets their is in random encounter trigger boolean to true and in the player script I've added to the uh, movement um, in the fixed update so that it doesn't so that it's frame in, or sort of frame rate independent um, we check if the player is moving and if they are in a random encounter trigger, and if so, um, get a random float between uh, 0 and 100. And then if the, if the outcome is lower than the random encounter frequency, which is a public uh, float that, that the designer can set in the inspector, then it'll trigger a random battle. For the time being, the random battles are not occurring on a separate scene. Instead, I have uh, a parent object for the overworld, a parent object for the random encounter, and it toggles between them being active. Um, I'm using this for the time being so that it would be easier to pass values over from the overworld scene into the random battle scene if I wanted to carry on the player's health or something about their equipment collected in the world and not passing that from scene to scene for the time being. And then, oh, as well as the player location. Um, and then when you're in the random scene, you just have it simply set to uh, the F key code will exit uh, random encounter. Um, and so I've sort of did so that this time I want it in either or. I sort of did both because um, they both seem like things I'll need to do eventually. Okay. That's it for me for today. Thanks. This was Sam Pollock, student number 101. Uh, what is it? 101279608. Thanks for time.